Now a Java Swing dialog is similar to a frame, but it has some extra properties. Uh, the main property of it is that it can be made modal. Now what we mean by this is when we have a dialog open, we don't want the user to be able to do anything else with the graphics other than interact with the dialog. So if I look at Eclipse here, if I select window preferences, I get a preferences dialog and it's a modal dialog. So when we try and ignore it, if I click off it, I've got a problem. I can't click off it. I have to deal with it or close it in some way in order to be able to carry on using the application. So I'm going to take the same application we've used before. And when we press the button, I'm going to open a dialog. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to create my dialogue in a new class. I'm just going to set it to a standard size. I'm going to set it modal. I think it might be modal by default, but I'll make sure it's modal. And I'll set it visible. So I'm just going to add an OK button to it and when that button is pressed we're just going to close the dialog. Just dispose of the dialog. In the constructor we can tell the dialog the owner frame. So I'll add parent frame to the constructor. And then in our main frame, in our button action listener, I'm just going to say new my dialogue. And give it the frame as into the constructor. So now let's see what this does. So when we select the button, we get a dialogue. Okay, I'm not quite sure why we're not seeing the button. Um, let's have a look. Okay, I think it was just a repaint issue, but now we have the OK button. We can't ignore the dialog because it's modal. We have to click the OK button to close the dialog. So this is a way of asking the user to take notice of the dialog, do something with the dialog, and uh, we can't go back to using the main um, window until we've got rid of the dialog somehow. Now there's some ready-made dialogues for you to use. So let's take a look at some of those. So instead of constructing my new dialogue, what if we want to ask the user just a question? Um, just, are you sure, for example? So we have some ready-made dialogues, for example, J Option Pane. J Option Pane gives us some various dialogues we can use. Um, show Confirm Dialogue, Show Internal Confirm, Show Option, Show Input. So the Show Confirm Dialogue gives us an OK and a Cancel button. And it is a modal dialogue which will block so when we call this method the code will freeze here waiting for the user to either click the OK or cancel button and then it will return an int and the int may be the J option pane OK option which is defined as a static variable in J option pane or it can be cancelled. So what I'm doing here I'm going to show the confirm dialog. If the user clicks OK I'll say OK pressed in the text area. If he clicks cancel I'll say cancel pressed. So let's run this. We click the button, 
we get the option dialog yes no or cancel okay pressed okay so yes is giving us okay okay we have some options in here Okay, so are you sure you want to do this? If I click cancel, cancel pressed, okay, and okay pressed. So we've got some ready-made dialogues we can use. We've also got a show input dialogue. So with the input dialogue, we can, for example, ask what is your name and get the name. Now I have the dialogue, what is your name? Name is Dave. And we've also got some more sophisticated dialogues. For example, we have a file chooser. So we can use this to open a file and there's various options for the on the uh, initialization of file chooser, whether we want to be uh, opening or saving, what files we want to be able to accept. So this is a way that we can ask the user to select a file and the uh, file name will be returned from, the, from what we click there. Also, whether we clicked open, okay or canceled, that will also be returned in, in some way. Frequently used dialogues, you'll uh, you'll find have already been implemented. If you want to implement your own dialogue, for example, you're making an application which has a custom dialogue, especially for it, you'll have to implement it yourself as a J dialogue. But if you want a color chooser, a date picker, or a file chooser, something like that, you'll find that it's already been done. So that's what J dialogues do, and you can use them if you want to ask your user a question get your user to do something in the dialogue before he can go back to using the main window. So thanks for watching.